Hi guys, Retro Jingo here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna look at this beautiful, beautiful machine from Commodore. It's the Amiga CD32, 32 bit, and it's an Amiga 1200 based console with a built in CD ROM drive, AGA chipset, 2 megs of chip RAM. It's just awesome. But I don't know if it works. I just got it in a haul when I bought uh, five or ten Amigas, and this one was included. So let's test it out. But before we do that, I have to replace this one because this is not a Danish plug. So <laughs> I have to take care of that one first, and then power this beauty on, guys. Come on, let's take a look. All right, we're ready now. It's fixed for the Danish standard. This is how we do it here. And the TV connection is on, so let's power on this baby. And I really, really hope that it works, guys. <laughs> All right, I'm ready to turn on this Amiga CD32 on for the first time in, in a really, really long time, guys. So the power is on, uh, connected, and the, and the cables, I mean, the 30, uh, CD32 does not have the Amiga RGB. I use, I usually use the Amiga RGB out to SCART connector, and that picture is just amazing. But uh, these connectors that I'm using when I use it on my standard Amigas and all that, it, it really it doesn't look that good. And on top of that, I'm using an uh, LCD screen, you know. So I don't think the picture quality will be that fine. But it, it also has a super. VHS or what's it called out, but my screen does not uh, have that either. So let's just power this one on and hope that it works and nothing blows up. And we turn it on on the back side, and that's totally fine. So we don't accidentally turn it off here. So it's okay by me, no problem at all. Oh, yes, we got power. We got power, guys. Oh, yes! I'm smiling, <laughs> you can't see it, but I'm really, really smiling right now. This is amazing! It works, guys! Oh, I'm just so happy. Alright, when we grew up, um, my generation, we played Commodore 64s, we played Amigas and all that with joysticks. Not joypad, but joysticks. Like this. It had more buttons, but, 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 uh, it could have two, one, four button or something like that. But still, the Amiga and the Commodore 64 only had um, one button configured in, in the games. Uh, example on, on, on this uh, Vico joystick you could uh, choose between the top button and the, the base down there but we only had one button on our games and that was perfect back then but our generation when we played uh, platform games we jumped like this just push upwards and it, and it works I mean playing Turricane 2 and all, all of those great games uh, gods and so many awesome games, bubble bubble, whatever. We just jumped like this. And then when the Nintendo generation came over, they had two buttons on their joy pads, not joysticks. So on the Nintendos, they had pads like this, and when they jumped, they used a button. And I don't know, my generation is just... I, I, I'm, I grew up by, by jumping, just uh, pressing, pressing upwards, that, 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 that's what I know. But the newer generation, uh, now uh, with the PlayStation 4 and all that, it's just a button for jumping. So, on the Amiga CD32, we got these joy pads that actually had uh, multiple... Uh, uh, what's it called? Yeah, different commands, you can see. We got these up here on the top and they're used today 
gaming uh, cars and all that we can guess and all that I, I, I love these shoulder buttons and um, I mean this is great the idea from Commodore is great having more button and all that it, I really like it but the problem with the with the CD32 was well it, it had a really short uh, lifespan I know but the problem with it was they actually just re-released Amiga 1200 games. I mean, um, I remember playing. I think it was was it Banshee or was it um, Project X? I really love the idea by by shooting with one button and choosing the weapon power up with another button instead of pressing space. Just like on the Mega 1200, you could just choose weapon here. I love uh, more uh, button configurations, but 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 Amiga games—they're just programmed. They're made to be played with a joypad. I mean, this control—I didn't like it back then. I'm gonna try it now. Is if this controller works? But um, I, I don't know. It 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 doesn't. It, it was not the best way to control Amiga games. I mean, they're just programmed to play with one of these awesome, awesome sticks. I love playing with joysticks. It's just the best. But as you can see, the connector is just standard. So you're not, you don't, you don't have to play with one of these. You can just plug in a normal Amiga 600, Amiga 500 joystick if you have one laying around. It's, it's awesome. I love this system. So, well, we got a picture and we got sound, but how does the laser here perform? I have no idea. I just hope that it works, guys. It looks, it looks clean, but it, I don't know. If it can't read, I have to, I have to clean the head. Let's try a proper Amiga 1200 game. The Curse Engine. I mean, this is one of the. Oh, I thought it was from, from 1993, but this is from 1994, Bitmap Brothers, they made awesome Amiga games. The Chaos Engine, and this is the 30, CD32 version. Sometimes, I don't know on this one, I have the, yeah, I don't have no idea, but sometimes they actually, um, what's it called, they actually and because of the extra storage, um, they put in some, I don't know, better music and sometimes animations and uh, I actually read about it. <laughs> I, I don't remember, uh, I don't remember uh, any game that, that had better music or better sound clips or animations or that. But, uh, oh, it's reading guys. Please work. <laughs> Please work. Ah, nothing happens. Oh, oh yes, it works. It's incredible. Oh, look at this, guys. The Chaos Engine CD32 version. Not for resale. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this was a a, a bundle pack. Oh, it's some time in the last century, an experimenter in time and space. This is what I'm talking about. Machine, the Chaos Engine. Although primitive, if you the played this game on the just the standard Amiga 500, there were there were no speech. I guarantee you that. So they have uh, put in some speech. Oh, that's nice! Humans and animals were turned into ravenous beasts. Oh, that's awesome, Someone man. must destroy the Chaos Engine before it is too late. Six soldiers of fortune are available for hire. The Gentleman, the Thug, the Preacher, the Brigand, the Mercenary, the Navi, That's just awesome, guys! Oh my god! So we have, we have some, uh, uh, yeah, the the sound uh, 
as you can hear there's some speech and uh, we got I, I don't know about that music in the background don't don't know guys the music is is different also oh it sounds it sounds better oh damn it's nice okay so we got CD quality music, I mean... Oh damn, it sounds great! Let's get some more volume, guys. Ah, oh, damn, it's nice! <laughs> Whoa, I'm... I mean, if you have played this game on a standard Amiga, you can you can really hear the 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 difference in the sound. It just it's great. I love this system. Okay, in-game music sounds just as the normal Amiga 500 version or Amiga 1200 AGA version. That's just great, guys. Nice, 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 very, very nice. I mean, let's just take, take out another one here. I don't remember. I cannot just open it and yeah, it re, it stopped. It resets. Okay, it resets by itself because I remember it's got a reset button down here. Now we have the what's it called? Let me clean it. <laughs> now it's clean. <laughs> we got the uh, cannon fodder. I don't know if I should press here. I have no idea, guys. But yeah. Um, okay, let's just load in the cannon fodder. I mean, I'm, the cast engine was great. But I mean, to review this system, it, it's. Oh, look at this. Nice. We should review it, uh, review it with the uh, proper games, and um, I don't know. I just, I just watched a review of this system from. Oh uh, yes, I have to. I'm so sorry. I have to take the volume down because that's just sacrilege doing that with this soundtrack. But guys. I just watched the review of this system by a uh, you, another YouTuber and uh, a big YouTube channel. I mean, he will never ever look at my videos and um, none of his subscribers will see this, but he reviewed the Amiga CD32 and I didn't, I didn't feel like it was a fair review because, I don't know, as an Amiga lover, Amiga user, I mean, First of all, his CD32 didn't work properly, so he should put on something really heavy on the top. I mean, to fix your system before you make a review of it, that's just my opinion. And the second of all, the games he reviewed, I mean, every system has some bad games on them. I mean, Look at the Nintendo, I mean, playing Super Mario 3 is just one of the best games ever, but there are also a lot of, sorry about the language, but a lot of shitty games on the Nintendo also. But, I mean, he just trashed this system, he, he, he threw it out, and I, I don't feel like it, it, it was a pretty fair review, so um, it just made me, uh, yeah. Check this one out and uh, take a closer look at it. it. It wasn't planned or nothing. Actually, none of my videos are planned. I just make a review when I feel like it. <laughs> nothing is scripted. No, nothing, guys. I just enjoy doing this. I just I love sharing my passion. So um, let's just take a quicker look. I mean, I I have some. Uh, I, I feel like there are some awesome games. I mean. The, the Chaos Engine, I think, is one of the best games ever on the Amiga system. And on the C CD32, we got the uh, better music and uh, an awesome intro. That, that, that was nice. So, 
other than that, these Amiga 32s today in 2018, they can be expanded. I mean, terrible fire. Thank you again, <laughs> sir, for making the O30 expansion and you know, we can connect compact flash card and all sort of incredible stuff on these Amiga 32s. But today, I will uh, try to plug in this um, long live Amiga. This device that's called CD32 MK2, it's made back in 1996. DCE computer service. I have no idea how to use it, if it works. I mean, um, it expands the Amiga 30 CD32. Damn, I love this game. Uh, the music, the sound, it, it, it sounds like a standard Amiga. So not every, every game has got an update. But this device, guys, as you can see, we can connect the hard drive. But... Uh, that means I can connect a compact flash card also. <laughs> that would be great. So other than the hard drive, as you can see, we got a parallel port. We got a video out. This means RGB to SCART. I could, uh, it, it gives such an awesome picture quality. I, I just love that. I mean, look at this, guys. VGA output. That's just incredible. I love the idea. We got serial port. And look at this, guys. Disk drive. DF0 to DF2. I mean, this this makes the Amiga 30, CD32 to a Amiga 1200 with a GA chipset and a built-in CD-ROM drive. And you could have this back in 1996. Isn't this great? I mean, the system is great, but with this upgrade, I mean, such an awesome system. I have so much love and respect for the Amiga CD32. It's just awesome, man. Let's just make a proper review of this system. So we got a hard drive here. I don't know what it contains or nothing, but look at this, guys. Here is the connection to the CD32. And down here we got some stuff that, oh, this is the AMD logo. But here, guys, we got a RAM memory upgrade expansion. That means that I could install WHD load games in this machine. I won't do that in this video, but I will make a part two where I install a compact flash card. And to play WSD Lot games, the two megabytes of chip RAM is just not enough, guys. So we're gonna install some memory here. I have no idea what's the maximum amount of memory it can take, but I mean with memory upgrade, O20 processor built in, maybe four or if it can take eight megs of fast RAM and the built-in two megabytes of chip RAM. AGA chipset, O20 processor running 14 megahertz, connection to a keyboard, a joystick and mouse connection. I mean, this is a super nice computer dash console to have. I really don't understand that. Again, excuse me, but that shitty review I just watched about this system. I have so much love for it. So um, I will on the, on the review part two put in a compact flash card and try some awesome awesome games on this system and make a proper review with the love and respect this system deserves. I know it is the Commodore's, uh, Commodore's um, last product and. It didn't sell that well and all that. I know the history, but today I'm just talking about 2018. It's I love this system. It just it, it deserves so much love and respect. I want to say thank you for watching, guys. I hope you will subscribe so you can enjoy part two with some awesome, awesome games for this system. Until next time. Love all your Amigas, guys. Have a nice day. Retro Django out.